going to use these two tools to clean Ruby's teeth. We do this occasionally. It's a little hook on the end of this. It cost me, I think it was about two pounds. And you, the idea is you put it up to the gum line and you scrape the plaque backwards. So it, it's quite effective. You know, usually a bone will do the trick. And this thing here is for polishing out stains. So first of all, we'll have a look at Ruby's teeth. As you can see, there's quite a bit of plaque building up. And she's had a bone recently, but we'll see if we can remove some of this. The idea is you get it behind and just pull back. Steady. Oh, here's a good girl. What a good girl. What a clever girl. Wait. As you can see we're gently working off the plaque. You might you might accidentally catch the gum but to remove the plaque is it's well worth the effort. And as you can see we've cleaned up the, the canines cleaned up a treat. And the back teeth, that, that'll clean up with a bone. Let's see if we can do these lower canines. Good girl, Ruby. And that's took off the plaque. I'll do the other side. She's an old girl, our oh, Ruby. She's 12. And she's as good as gold. And again, if you use your thumb just to flick off the scale. Alright, Ruby. Okay, that's a good girl. So you might get a little bit of. Have a look down there, probably got a bit on the bottom canine as well. Hello right, Rube, that's a good girl. <laughs> Stay, wait, Ruby wait. Ruby wait. So once you've cleaned off the plaque, then the other tool really is just for polishing the stains off. Here, so you just take your time, just gently rub the tooth. What a good girl. It's just slightly abrasive, so it's uh, it's done the trick anyway. 
I can see some uh, some plaque oh, open your mouth group. There's some plaque on the inside of the teeth, but um, we usually give a marrow bone to help clear that off. Good girl.